hello everyone welcome to the channel welcome to the channel so i was trying my best to get some good lighting but the light it's not all that in my um front room and for some reason it just seems a little fuzzy but uh forgive me for that <laughs> forgive me but what if i want to say forgetting all the light and whatever is happening in the background i just really wanted to come on i want to this video is a very serious one and uh, I was just thinking when I was getting ready, I was just thinking I have never made a video addressing my people in the Gambia. I've always um, made, made videos encouraging us, the diaspora, to come and show respect for our the people who are already here. Yes, many of us may think our forefathers were in this land before we were taken into slavery. And we think we are entitled to um, the land that we are, we should have a share, and I agree with that. You understand? It should be made easier for us to come back, and we sh it should be made we should be treated better. And I so much agree with that. But wherever you go, there are always people. Our ancestors were there, and they were taken, and there are people who remain. So us coming, we want to be able to, not to be at peace in the land, we want to be at peace with the people. And if we're not at peace with the people, then there's no way we'll be at peace in the land. Right? And it's based on many things. So many things are happening in the Gambia that I have never touched on, I've never spoken about, because our journey here was just me wanting to show the, my people all over the four corners of the earth that um, we don't have to uh, slavery did not define cannot define us our fathers our forefathers were not slaves before slavery happened who were they they were in our lineage we they were kings prince and princesses right and uh, we were a very wealthy people our God, which is the, which was the God of Israel, he, uh, we were his, his uh, chosen people, the eye, the apple of his eye, and we were very much feared and revered in this world, and that is the reason why our forefathers were sold into slavery through their disobedience and this. Is a story for another day so coming into the land we may feel to ourselves this is our land this is our forefathers land so we can go there and we are entitled to whatever it is that we want but it's not like that because there are laws that there's a government there are laws there are things that we have to abide by the most I ask us to obey the laws of the land so we have to come and we have to behave accordingly when you talk about behaving accordingly, it doesn't mean that we have to be submissive, uh, passive, and be trodden upon. It doesn't mean that we have to allow people to treat us anyhow. But we have to first come and show ourselves friendly in order to be treated as friends. And even sometimes when we do show ourselves friendly, we may not always be treated as friends. But at least we did our part. The reason why I'm going with all this is because I realize there's a, and it, as I said, this video is not for us, a diaspora. I am not addressing us this morning. I want to address our Gambian brothers and sisters. A lot of our Gambian people, they call us brother, sister. But are we really? In your heart, are we, is that how you really see us as your brothers and sisters? Right, because what since we've been here, as I said, I've never wanted to put out any negativity, strife between anyone. I want to, re, I want to always remain positive and in that space of love, that space of um, freedom and togetherness and peace. That's what I want myself and my family. So that's what I put out there. Right, that's what I put out there while walking around amongst the people on youtube uh everywhere everybody who sees me hears me 
that's what they will hear right because I want that back I believe in that I believe in you reap what you sow and most times you may sow good fruits and receive rotten ones but the most high will take care of that for those of us who believe that he will take care of us he will take care of that also uh, moving on So I want to address my Gambian brothers and sisters. So if you think it to yourself, oh, I have an, another video is here from the hungry mom. Let me get my popcorn and sit down. I don't think this one, uh, the popcorn may not taste too good for this one. I want to be uh, very forthcoming, like very open. And I want to make it be known that um, whatever I'm going to say is not out of anger it's not out of i'm not pissed off at anyone it's not out of hate it's not out of uh disrespect but i think it's um for the time that we have been coming to the gambia i think it's about time our people our gambian people begin to um open up themselves to receiving us with that same respect that most of us bring to the Gambia when we come right uh, and the reason why I'm saying all this is because of all the robberies I've been hearing lately and it hit was personal the last robbery that I heard of was personal it would hit home but I was kind of involved in some way in um in um consoling and uh, being there for the individual I'm not going to mention names I'm not going to anything that I put on so that you guys can see visually I will not be showing the um, sister's face or showing Winnie's because I believe it's not necessary what's necessary is to allow um, to speak out against um, those things happening from keep happening to us the diaspora and when we say oh we are being targeted it's almost like it's becoming a nursery rhyme and I don't think it should be a nursery rhyme I think we need to there really need to be a full stop to it and things really need to be done to safeguard ourselves as the diaspora coming in and yes, you will say, oh, the Gambians are also being robbed by the uh, people are also, they are also, their houses are also being robbed and stuff like that, which I understand. Uh, we, we will not find, mind you, of all the crimes that go on in the world day to day, I could say that we are blessed in the Gambia that robbery is the most, uh, it's the worst crime that we have here. It's not that it's a good thing. It's not that it's a good thing, but it there could be way there could be much worse crimes happening here in the Gambia. So all in all, we are very safe here in the Gambia. But when it comes to you being the one that is being that has been robbed, it's could imagine the pain and trauma. And I could imagine what they go through. And I think being robbed, not just once, but some people have been robbed. Their homes have been robbed and vandalized twice, three times. I think those emotions are quite the same. You feel like you will um, 
violated. We're supposed to have that kind of empathy towards one another and realize that, you know, others' pains are ours and it could also be us. It could have been us who were robbed and, uh, and assaulted in that way. And it's very, very, very disheartening to keep hearing those stories over and over again. I'm going to show you guys a video and show you some pictures. Some video, maybe one or two of the videos may not have any sound because I don't want to put her voice out there. For someone who may know her, um, and I don't want to put too much of her home out there either. And no, but why are you in the ceiling in our house? Why are you in our property? Why? Yes. I don't know. It's wrong. Why are you in the property? Hey, this boy is Brother, you're in trouble and I can't believe you did this. This lady is so kind to you. This lady, she cook, she give, make you wash her clo your clothes, she help you. How do you do that to somebody that help you? But she never. Brother, she how do you get from somebody that help you? Be quiet. Isn't that what Allah is that Allah said you must treat Allah's good? And you say you believe in Allah, you're doing this. I can't believe you do this. I swear to God, I can't believe you do this. How was he in that year? So, what about he me? Said, he, said, he said he said he went through this door. No. I, no. I went through this door. And, okay, how do you get through the door? How do you get through the door? Wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait, Inside, no, no, what, what, I don't, you, what I don't even understand is that Mokune, he said he went through here to, to uh, inside and, and, and go up in the ceiling. But I just wanted to bring it and show you guys because many times we hear, oh, I've been robbed, I've been robbed. But you, you never dare to video although a few people have showed videos of what happened the aftermath of everything and it was shocking so imagine me posting this one and for you to really see the the, the it was unbelievable and I'm thinking to myself why and most times those people who are doing those things to us I hope you guys know that are people, as I have said in the previous video, are persons who have already been to your home, persons who come through your door, your front door, persons you have allowed to come to take a ride with you, right? Persons who you have allowed to come to your home to do maybe plumbing work, whatever. No one is, right now as I see it after this, it's like you don't know who to trust. So I encourage us, the diaspora instead of we keep saying uh, we are a target we are a target begin to look for ways and means to protect ourselves uh, security for our home security for the things that we are we are bringing and a lot of people are saying oh it's the youtubers who are getting targeted I have never been my home has never been vandalized we have never been robbed we have never been through a lot of things that a lot of diasporas have gone through and it doesn't take away from what they have gone through and their pain but it's that's not just youtubers who are getting attacked it's people who have nothing to do with the internet people who don't are not even out there in the public because the gambia is a very poor country and yes the people are in desperate need and most of those people who go about stealing are the young ones. This young man who robbed that house was just 16. When a young lady met him when she came over to the Gambia, he was 15.
So all in her heart, she was trying to help him. It was about helping to him to start a business here in the Gambia. And they would sit down, she would go to her house, and he's just a 15 year old. You would go to her house, they would sit down, and she would feed him. And then he would ask to come and wash his clothes, and she would agree. And then he would ask, you know, different things. Can I have this? Can I have that? Everything is easy. Can I have? Um, there was there's one or two particular things he asked for that she said no you can't this is the only one I have and it's of sentimental value to me so I am not able to give it to you and those are one of the things that he stole when he came back and him having to go he didn't come to the front door my people he didn't cut any burglar bars or not, none of this the young man went through the ceiling the house ceiling when I show you the video, you will understand what I'm saying. But it is very wise for us to go around every day, especially those of us who live alone. This young lady lives alone. But she lived with another sister. But um, for some reason, she was not home for a length of time. And so she was alone in the house. And the gentleman, the young man, went up in the ceiling and burst a hole from the ceiling to come into the house. Now tell me, how many of us had this in mind that this could ever be possible? Huh, definitely not me. So you can imagine the shock that she had. But I really wanted to put out there. The reason why I said I wanted to address my Gambian brothers and sisters is because a lot of the times we may feel like we are being that we don't you don't have what we have coming from the diaspora. But a lot has been taken from us. So when we worked so hard in North America, those of us who left the Caribbean went to North America thinking we were going for a better life. After we worked so hard over there, worked, worked our asses off, guys, and without sleep sometimes. You understand? Just working to pay bills upon bills upon bills. And running, a lot. Of, I shouldn't even say running away, but leaving there and thinking, my God, this is not for us. And leaving there and coming to the continent, Africa, wherever it is that we are going to on, the, on this continent. 
we thinking that we are living for a better life and you may think like what the heck as a Gambian or as an African you may think are you guys kidding me why would you leave North America why would you leave the States why would you leave Canada why would you leave the UK why would you leave those places Europe to come to Africa this dump that's what you are saying not me I didn't call Africa a dump from the so we Africans, you that's what the Africans also think about the country. That is why so many of them are losing their lives on the sea trying to escape. Because you think that you are in a dump. But we who have been in North America fighting all these years and still ending up with nothing, a house that we have to pay for all our life over there and never belongs to us, a house and land that we pay for, land taxes that never belong to us, that we, we will never own, right? You think that we are coming with millions and we're supposed to share it with you. But instead of you asking us to share it by you putting in the work while we pay you, you feel you have the right to rob us. And I'm going to make a part two of this video. And I'm going to share this with you. If you don't help yourself, no one will help you. When the, when the Bible said, seek and you shall find, it didn't say go around looking at other people's stuff and, and, and enter into their house and rob them. to go out there and look for work by the sweat of your brow you will eat bread if it meant that you should go rob somebody you wouldn't tell it by the sweat of your brow you should eat bread you will eat bread i already sweat that is why i have what i have so i'm gonna eat my bread but you have not sweat so you need to sweat by helping me do what i want i have to do and then i pay you so you could go and feed your family doesn't that make sense? It's not a deal. Instead of thinking that what I have belongs to you and you're supposed to come and take it because you're entitled to it, come on now, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Time comes, don't postpone it When others doubt and out, you don't condone it Truth be told Yourself is your toughest opponent When your moment comes, grab hold and own it Never let go, stand tall and hold tight Overcoming obstacles is the objective in life